Howdy y'all, Riggs here. We're back with Spin Tires Mud Runner today. It is going to be an awesome trailing Tuesday. Alright, um, we're, we're sitting here with a mod from Smart19. Uh, it's a mix and match of three different body styles on one vehicle. I like that idea and I think more mod developers should do that. Um, we all know who started that with the original Mud Runner and that was Bragel's Garage. And he did that very well. Uh, so, we also have this, uh, I can't remember who did it. It's a Ford F-150 uh, Ranger. And then we got this uh, uh, Rednecks uh, Bridge Jam Square Body. Which is a massive looking truck. So let's just outfit these checks and we'll hit the trail. We're actually on a map called Lost Time today, uh, created by Remo667. Uh, the map will be linked in the description below, as well as all three checks as normal. So um, let's outfit these checks, shall we? <laughs> body nice and orange looking uh the 70 body looks uh red and actually not bad where's that front end look Ooh, i like that front end uh you know i like the 68 better than the 70 but then there's a 72 oh, okay yeah i mean it's blue we like blue i mean i like blue i don't know about y'all but blue is my favorite color we're taking that um, and we will we'll, we'll throw on that brush guard and uh, roll bars are yes uh, yeah we'll throw in the roll bars I might change that we'll see what we can do uh, okay we can't do anything else so I move off to the Ford F-150 um, <laughs> all right I might come back to that one uh, don't need the garage parts I don't think uh, light bar. Okay, we'll throw that on. Utility parts, huh? Okay, that means we can't carry the carriage. I'm fine with that. Um, why the hell not? Now, we're going to do a good off-road test, I think. Now, this is a 250, not, uh, not the 150. Uh, man, this is a big truck. Like, if I might just try to put them all side by side, but I think this one might be oversized compared to the other two trucks. So, um, again, I've never driven any one of these three trucks. I've never been on this map. I like doing these first time things for y'all. You never know what to expect. I don't even know if we brought the right trucks for this map. You know, right tools for the right job. If we didn't, wow. Uh, so anyways, uh, brush guard, yeah, we'll, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll throw the brush guard on. Uh, camp shell, we'll come back to, uh, probably won't use it. Dump exhaust, yes, rear bumper, um, yeah, we won't use the camp shell. But, we're going to start off with the Chev. Probably save the Ford... You know what? Let's just save the best for last. We're going to start in order of least favorite to favorite. So, we're going to start with the Ford. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm driving a Ford, guys. Ugh. I'm going to... Just, just give me a second. I'm going to go throw up. Alright. Let's take a look at the map here. Uh, just... Whoa. Alright. So, it looks like we got one, two, three... Four, four watch points. There's a lumber mill there. Fuel station up in there. There's only the one garage on this entire map. All right. So why don't we do a challenge? Let's see if we can't get onto this trail right over here and hook around and get up to that fuel station up in there. I like it. Make sure we got enough fuel. Alright, no fuel add-ons. Alright. Mm 
Now, this is going to be tricky. I think we can turn up this way and it will take us there. Although it could be that trail right there. No, I don't do, I don't believe so. Now, I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this forward. Oh, look at that, watch point. Uh, but yeah, I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this check. This is just kind of kind of be like let's check out see what we can do here. Okay, so we do need to go the other way back towards that other lumber mill. And it looks like Ash Hulk all the way. Ow! Wow, that sucks. The one rock and I had to hit it. That's okay. It's a Ford. <laughs> so the steering is a little bit weird on this track. It's a little bit slow. Hey, an Irish pub. You don't see a lot of that in Motor Runner. So we're starting off in what appears to be a little tan. So I think this is where we turn. Yeah. Actually, just to be fair, I'm going to back it up, get back up on the asphalt. I probably should have repaired this guy. So, or back at the garage. Um, it's only got 20 repair points. Uh, we'll do it. Okay, we'll just subtract whatever we do for damage by... You know what? Screw it. Magic of video editing. I'm going to come back, uh, go repair it in the garage, and then come back. And I'll see y'all back in this exact spot. All right, we're back in, in close enough to the same spot. We're behind a bush. Okay, uh, so yeah, Ford. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I really do not like this check. Um, I, I mean, this is back when Ford might have actually been okay. Oh, it didn't handle too bad over those trees. We'll see how the other two tracks do. And now we're hitting a little bit of mud. Ooh. That is... Okay, we're going to do this in three. Low three. You know, they could have at least changed up the colors on this truck. Even that colors want to make me throw up. And I'm pretty sure that's the color that would come out. I mean, if you mix the two together and swirl them and, you, you know. Man, this is going pretty slow in this water, but it's actually making it. And I haven't done any damage to the vehicle yet. Shocking. I guarantee before this episode is over, I will wreck this truck. Oh, wow. That's actually kind of cool. I just noticed it. You got some articulation in the box. That's really cool. That's the only cool thing about this truck. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm a jerk. I, and I apologize to all you Ford lovers out there, all one of you. But I just, I really just don't like Ford. I mean, the problem is right there. It's circled for you. If you can't see it, well, you got a problem. It's right there. Circle. See it? Come on, up and over the tree, up and over the tree. Or just move it out of the way for the next... What? Okay. It just snapped right, right back into where it started moving from. But the further we get down this trail, the slower she's going. Let's see what happens if I throw her back up into automatic. Maybe high? No, not doing high. Yeah, you got to keep it in low three, and she'll just kind of get through there.
Now, if, I bet you're probably going to ask me in the comments, maybe. I don't get a lot of those. What would you rate this Ford on the rigs meter? Well, it's a Ford. It automatically gets a zero. Just for being a Ford. Now, it, it's trailing not too bad. But, it's still a Ford. And just because it actually made it through here decently, and it's got that cool articulation in the box, and I'll admit they did a good job on the model. I will give this a 2 out of 5 on a rigs meter. I you know what? That's being too nice. That's way too nice. A 1.5. 1.5. Just because it's a Ford. Can't say it enough. And y'all know it. I don't like Ford. Are we there yet? Ugh. Couple more corners. That's what it sounded like a kid in the back seat. Well, there is no back seat in this truck. We there yet, Dad? Are we there yet? I know y'all did that when you were kids. Some of you might even have kids to do that. I don't. I don't have kids. Not yet. And come on, get up this little hill. Or don't, and just put yourself to shame, you know? Okay, steady climb. Very steady climb up. Think I see the uh, fuel station. It's got to be up at that shack up ahead. Is that a fuel station or a logging station? I can't remember. I just said, let's just go here. Well, that's where we're going. One last puddle. Let's uh, throw her up into high and just see if she'll get through it. For as far as we can go in high. Come on. It's going through. Very slowly, but going through. Come on. Actually, threading it does help. Threading it helps quite a bit. Oh, man, we picked up a lot of grass in the box. Wow. All right. Look at all that mud on top. Oh, it's a logging station and a fuel station. We'll just pull in here and refuel. And pull off to the side of the road. Alright. Well, in the comments, let me know how well you think that truck went. If you think it went pretty good, well, I, will, I won't knock you. Hard. Anyways, turn off that engine and let's go get the Dodge. Wait a minute. Uh, apparently, I unlocked a truck. Okay. I uh, didn't mean to do that. All right. We already set it. Let's go get our fuel. Now, I think this truck might end up doing okay. All right. No further add-ons. This truck is massive compared to the Ford. And it's a drift truck. <laughs> Let's throw on uh, diff lock and all wheels. I didn't check the interior of the Ford. Who cares? It's a Ford. Wow, that's actually kind of crampy. 
I like the camo sheet though. Okay, and already we're picking up damage. But that's just because I forgot to put it into low three. So we'll subtract that 14 from the end. Low three is a little bit too slow for me. And high is one of those tracks where it just goes. So we'll, we'll just keep it in low three. It ain't doing too bad. It's actually doing, I think, a bit better than the Ford, but again, it ain't no Chevy. Y'all know how I feel about Chevy. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do. You can't get a better truck. Well, again, that's my opinion. Y'all are entitled and welcome to your own. I don't have to agree with it, and you don't have to agree with mine. As I'm driving, uh, so far, both trucks, I've been kind of keeping a lookout for cliffs to drive that Ford off of, but I don't see any. Like if this was uh, Dante's Inferno, that, the map that we tried out yesterday, well, might do okay with it. go well I think she's definitely doing a lot better than the forward but so far I would actually give this uh, I mean we're not doing much with it but as far as the trailing in third or low three goes I will give it a three out of five on the rigs meter So double the Ford. Now I think the size of the truck might have something to do with that. Either the other two trucks are undersized or this one is oversized. But then again, these old first gen Dodges, they've always looked bigger than everybody else. Maybe that's just the fact that they are bigger. Oh, wow. That seems a lot quicker. A lot quicker. Maybe it's just the fact that the other truck, it was a Ford, so it felt like an eternity driving that thing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Write it down in the comments. Hardly used any few. Ah, oh, you know what? It's just the fact it's higher up. I think they're about the same width. And I saved the best for last. Shall we? Let's see what I can carry. Oh, this one can actually carry fuel. Now, the gear is a little bit different on this truck. The engine is much lighter. <clears throat> so, this might be like a muscle truck. 
judging from the uh, noise of that. That sounds like a 454 with some nice headers on it. Put it in third gear. Now low three is really slow. That too quick. Yep. Yes, yeah, she does. Over the tree, up over the tree. I gotta do it. I gotta see it in the mud and high. Wow, look at her go. All right, now this ain't my perfect Chevy. I will admit, it's a little bit underperforming. So, uh, on the motor, I think it's just too loud for the power that it's actually putting out. The model is nice, it really is. But because it's a little bit underpowered, like it, she's going well, and she does well in high in the mud. If I were to put it back up into high, like, yeah, she does very well there. How's the interior? Looks like a typical 70s uh, Chevy pickup. Yeah, crawling over stuff all right. Well, you always took that angle of attack into consideration. We took the wrong angle of attack with this truck and not the other two. And she still just made it right through that. Oh, we're getting into the night. I don't know. I think you can see better with the lights off. But that's just me. It makes a difference if you're in the cab view, though. Yeah, I'll give her a three and a half out of five. A little bit better than a Dodge. But that is, again, this particular model. And the Ford, if, it, if I didn't know what it was, if it didn't have the badge on the front, couldn't tell it was a Ford. I would actually give that one about the same, three and a half, just for the record. Uh, I will always bash a Ford every time I get a chance to do it. You're gonna have to get used to that and buckle up for the ride. It's gonna be a bumpy one. But I've always, as I've always said, especially when it comes to Ford, Look at it backwards. Driver returns on foot. D-R-O-F. Right? That's Ford. Or, I would hate to be found off-road dead. Because, again, by the time you're found, there might be a little bit of a skeleton left. After the bears and the wolves and the cougars and whatever other creature has had its way with you. Review and go and park. That dodge is just massive. Well, 
Let's, let's see. Wow, that's bright. Oh, it actually turned off the other lights. Well, anyways, boys, this is the end of this one. Thank y'all for joining. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video and you know some people that should see it that haven't seen it yet, hit that share button. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Instagram. Share it wherever you can share it. And most of all, if you like this video, give it a great big thumbs up. Or thumbs down. It really doesn't matter to me. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. It really, it just, all they do is it just gives that interaction into the page, which will uh, eventually, hopefully, bump me up into uh, one of those top views. Yeah. Uh, again, like how that happened on this one, pretty slim. But hey, let's give it a shot, right? Uh, and then. Also, make sure you comment in the description below which one of these three checks you think did the best. And before I leave y'all, I promise you something. I gotta go wreck this forward. And we got two minutes and 30 seconds to do that. Oh, in high gear, she's not doing terribly too bad. I like this speed. This is a good pace. But again, still a forward. You know what? That looks higher. That looks way higher. Great, small rocks. Oh, oh, come on. Really? Wow, Ford, you suck. We high centered it. Come on, you got it, you got it. Uh, there's no cliff on this map, is there? Okay, we're done. All we had to do was hit a tree. <laughs> All right, there's the forward kill. So until the next one, y'all. Have a good one.